Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how I make the pen boxes that I use to package these Inkjoy pens that have been epoxied and glittered. And you can see that, sorry, this is hard to do with just one hand. <laughs> perfect and and it's a nice finishing touch for your pens so this set is the rose gold glam and I will link it down in the description so you can find the where you can find the listing it's on Etsy okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that my PNG auto trace is turned on because like I said, this will come in two files. The backgrounds are PNG and then the actual template is a cut file. So I have that on and I'm going to open my Rose Glam PNG files. And there it is. It comes with three different backgrounds. Um, it comes with this glammy, shiny tiger stripe. It comes with the leopard print and then the glittery um, giraffe print. So first thing I need to do, I have to separate these. So I'm going to go to my object and release the compound path. So now I have three separate layers and um, I can just highlight and get rid of this. I don't need the lettering. Okay, so next I'm going to open my pen box template. I knew I would forget to do that. Don't move it until you have selected everything and grouped. Now this pattern also comes with the little description at the bottom, so I'm just gonna highlight all that and delete it because I don't need it. All right, so just working with this, I have three different pieces I'm going to be using. So I'm going to copy and paste this three times and I'll just get it out of the way. It is easier to line things. I find it's easier to line things up if I use the, um, if I use the center to page. So that's normally what I do. All right, so center to page and then I'm gonna take one at a time. Next one, center to page. Now we see they're together. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, control G. I wanna group them, highlight everything, control command G, and then I've grouped them. So I'll get that out of the way. Next one, center to page. And then I will click on my cut, center to page, drag and highlight and group. And then the last one, this cheetah print, and right here, center to page, and then just click and select the last cut and center to page. And then highlight everything and make sure that it, yes. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do when I'm, this is just standard print and cut, so now you have that set up. Well, I go to my page and I'm using a Cameo Plus I'm going to use my auto, I'm going to use my mat, and my paper is letter. So then I need to turn my registration marks on, and I'm going to move this inset down so I have a little bit more, a um, little bit more space to cut, even though with this one it's not really going to matter that much. So now I will just go back and fit this within my cutting space. Now the way these backgrounds are made, there is a 
slight overlap because sometimes things don't cut exactly, which I think is a real, I really like this about the way this file was done, is I have a little bit of an overlap. So just in case, just in case things don't line up 100%, you will not notice, you should not notice that whenever you go to print. All right, so everything is within my, and within my margins. Now, I did a test cut of this before, and I found that these, uh, the lines that you have here, the pink and the black lines, if you don't turn that, I'll show you what happens. If you don't turn those off, you will see them. So let's say I'm gonna print now, and I will show you how it comes up, because once you see it, this, once you see it on your print screen, this is your preview, you see the pink lines and the black lines, those will print. Oops, so let me cancel that. I don't wanna print that. So very simple fix, select everything. Whoops, select everything and then go up here to your line color and hit off. Now, this is the only thing you're gonna see print. So I will go ahead and load my paper. And Command B, Command P, sorry, Command P. And I do not need an Epson printer. I don't need to. So let me go to my laser printer and paper. It's just going to be a heavy paper, so heavy. Now, once I have printed, I'm going to come back and Command Z or Edit Undo because I want to. I want to make sure those those lines are there. The paper has been printed, and I've. Um, hit undo so that so that I put the lines back so they're visible then I'm ready to go to my send menu and send it to the cameo to cut now this is the way I like to do to do these print and cuts where I have multiple settings so for this one the pink lines I have here those are going to be my score lines and the black lines are going to be the edges that I cut all the way out around so I have different settings. And since I have a Cameo 4, and this will also work with the Cameo 3, if you're using your auto blade, you can do this, you can do this um, this way, and you only have to put you put the paper in once and you do your settings, and the machine will do everything for it. It will change the settings depending on how you have it programmed with the line colors. Um, if you don't have a Cameo 3 or 4, or you're not using a, an auto blade, you're using a ratchet blade, then you'll have to stop the machine and you'll have to manually adjust. But this is for the auto blade. All right, so we have three different settings of lines. I have my pink line, I'm gonna turn that off so you can, so they'll disappear. And those will be the inside score lines. I have the outer red line. And those outer red lines, that is what the Silhouette Studio software um, added automatically whenever I imported that PNG file. And then I have the black line, which is really the cut line that you're gonna cut the whole thing out. So first of all, get rid of the red. You don't need the red, so I'm gonna uncheck that. Then you see we have an order. So the machine is gonna cut in order of you know top to bottom. Now, the way this came through, it put my pink lines first, then red, then black. So I'm going to switch these around, and you just drag it and drop it so that now it tells me I'm going to cut the pink, and then I'm going to cut the black, and then we're not doing anything with the red. So I've turned those off, and you can see they're not visible anymore. Okay, so the pink, that's going to be my score, and I just go to my material menu, scroll down to score and emboss paper and make sure your action is set to score 
and you can go down here and you can check your settings um, I usually turn this all the way down I for the paper I'm using I don't need it I don't need it more than a one and <clears throat> then the next one the black line that's your outline you're going to make sure that it is selected so you have your check mark and you have you have your setting mine is a heavy cardstock and I actually have a setting that I did myself that I played around with this particular cardstock. It's something I think I purchased it from Sam's, Sam's or Target or Walmart somewhere. It's just white heavy cardstock. And I have the settings that I like to use for this. And then we're going to make sure I'm on my auto cut because I'm using my auto blade. So you'll make sure all these are done. And when you click when you click send to send it to the machine, of course, it's going to read your registration marks like normal. And then it's going to cut out. It will do, like I said, the pink will cut first. Well, score. Those, all those score lines will be done first. Then it will go back. It will readjust the settings. And then it will cut out the outline. And that's all you have to do. So registration keeps failing, so we're going to try to do it manually. So when you have to manually register, just kind of get that, and if you can see it with the shadows, to get that little square at the top. There, that worked. Is the print and cut can be quite a problem. So right now it's going through the scoring. So this is why your print margins are a little bit wider than the actual box. As you can see with this one, it was off just a little bit. The first one did pretty good, but the second one and the third one, you can see that it, my registration marks, it cut just a little tiny bit off. Okay, so here are the boxes, and they are ready for you to just fold. I'll show you the score line. So all the score lines are there. Ignore the spray paint all over my hand. And so you can fold it, and this little flap on the edge hard to do with one hand and just put your glue and just put your glue along this edge and then glue it right there together and then once they're done and glued this is what they look like and it has a top that you can fold down Just goes inside. So 
on both sides. There's the other two once they're finished and put together. And that's it.